Well, if you have bruises, age spots, or freckles, you won't want to miss our next cure coming to you on the other side of the break. Don't go away. How can I cure that? That's your question we've been answering today. There isn't always a quick fix for bruising, but we can speed up the healing process. And here to show us one of the newest techniques, we have my colleague, plastic surgeon, Dr. Rafi Karamanukian, and Colleen is patient in our procedure room. So Colleen, what kind of procedure did you have? I had a scar on my left temple, and Dr. Rafi treated it, and I ended up with a big bruise, and it kind of looked a little bit like a black eye. So it's a little embarrassing for work. But. Well, and that's it. I mean, it's, it's totally natural to bruise, and what that is is just bleeding into tissues around an area where either you've done surgery or have been injured. And yes, it goes away on, on its own, but some patients want to speed that up. Some patients are embarrassed. They want to get rid of that bruising quicker. We've all had bruises, like you said, Dr. Orden, and we know that they all go away. But imagine having a bruise two days before a wedding or a prom or a big event. So we have ways to effectively get rid of bruises, and this laser is just an amazing alternative uh, for people that just have to have a bruise go away within 24 hours or 48 hours. The bruises can occur from injury, from trauma, from cosmetic surgery, and we have a way to treat them. And I'm gonna demonstrate that today, and uh, we have a good before and after picture of Colleen just a couple of days ago when she had a big bruise on her left temple, and mm -hmm. 24 hours later, you can see that the bruise is completely resolved or near completely resolved uh, with the application of the laser. And Dr. K, this is a pulse dye laser, correct? This is the Candela V-beam, and what we've done is actually modified the energy setting so that we can uh, improve the bruising by vaporizing the, the uh, blood particles. Colleen, are you ready? I'm ready. So what you're doing, you're actually disintegrating the old blood that's sitting below the skin. We are, Dr. Orden, and it's relatively painless. It takes seconds to perform, and pretty much that's it. So How did that feel, Colleen? Doesn't hurt at all, which I'm a big baby, so for me to say that, means a lot. And you have another picture, Dr. K, to show us of uh, another patient that you treated with this after elective surgery. That's a patient who I did a blepharoplasty on, which is an eyelid surgery. And you can see on the top, uh, the before picture, he has bruising on both sides. And we treated the left side, and within three days, the left side's bruise disappeared. The right side, which we didn't treat as, a, as part of the, the clinical trial, um, has a bruise. So it's an amazing technology and it works really well and very little downside to the procedure. It's great for women if they do get cosmetic surgery and want to get back to work sure. so they don't have to like reveal what they've done by having all this bruising on, on, on their faces. That's a, but absolutely still, there, but still there's an application here for cool compresses after an injury to right. help reduce yeah. swelling and then this can help with the actual right. discoloration. Very, very cool. Well, well, what we do is we also advise patients who've had cosmetic surgery uh, to use ice packs, to use an Arnica-based product, just as, such Arnica. as Bruce Stick Arnica, or Bruce yeah. Pack, and um, to actually drink pineapple juice, which has a natural ingredient to stop some bruising. Oh, well, Colleen, you look great, and Dr. K, great work as usual. Thank you very much, Dr. Orden. Thank you, everyone.